all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel guys today we are uh you know obviously we're in a new location home for winter break got some stuff to work out i don't really like this setup but i want to talk about jay sean tate but before we get into this video if you guys enjoy hit that like button hit that subscribe button jay sean tate saw a tweet from don knock on twitter today that really just kind of showcased what Jay Sean Tate has been doing, especially shooting the ball, but particularly from downtown. So the tweet was, Jay Sean Tate is shooting 43% from three over his last 10 games on three attempts per game. So Jay Sean Tate started this season, he was shooting pretty much like 25% through the first 20 or so games, 15, 20 games of the season last year he just barely clipped 31 percent so there was some hope that honestly he was going to turn into at least maybe like a 33 percent career three-point shooter if he were to touch 35 then we're talking i mean there might be some legitimate potential here but only 70 percent from the free throw line this season and improved 73 percent so you're really seeing this improvement and I think really what a, what a large portion of the reasoning is they're giving him the ball more. So he's averaging almost a whole assist per game this season at 3.2 assists per game. He's playing actually less minutes than he did last year. He's putting up about 12 points per game, about six rebounds. So they're giving him the ball more, right? Christian Wood is the five. Jay Sean Tate is the four. And so first off, he is a better paint player right he played four years at center in ohio state played two years overseas he's had a lot of experience in the post what's crazy is he's only 6'4 but he's like 220 pounds something like that so jay sean tate has a whole arsenal of baggies or sorry he's got a whole arsenal of tricks in his bag and they're also just starting to run him more as a point forward so he's had he's got the ball in his hands a little bit more he's creating open looks for his teammates and he's also being a little bit more aggressive you can tell his confidence is up but i think a large portion is just the fact that christian wood is at the five especially in these last 10 games because it opens up the floor i mean when you have christian wood at the four position and you have daniel tice at the five position if jay sean primarily is a paint scorer I, you know what's he gonna do He's not really a three-point shooter. I mean, I know he is shooting about 42% in his last 10 games or so, but teams don't really even guard Jay Sean Tate with the three ball. Like a lot of teams don't even respect it. They kind of treat him almost like Russell Westbrook, where it's like, all right, if you want to beat us from the three ball, you're going to have to make like five. We can live with you shooting one of four from downtown, even if they're all going to be wide open. So Jay Sean Tate, 42%. Now you got to respect him. Now you got to respect the pump fake. He can get into the lane. He can finish. He's a great finisher. He's explosive. And he's a phenomenal passer. I mean, Jay Sean Tate really, really is a great passer. And I think the fact that he only averaged two and a half assists last season, I mean, first off, you know, keep in mind the Rockets are a relatively inefficient group of shooters. I mean, they don't really have too many shooters. So keep that in mind. But especially last year, playing with a bunch of new teammates, uh, don't have the same rookie class. I mean, no Elperin. You had no Jalen Green. You had no Tice. So Jay Sean Tate, he's really coming into his own here. And this is at the perfect time because I, you know, I don't want to trade Jay Sean Tate. I really don't want to trade Jay Sean Tate at any point. But I also want Jay Sean Tate to mold into a star. I mean, that's kind of the whole hope for him is that, I mean, if Jay Sean were to average, let's say, 15 points per game, six, seven rebounds and five assists, if he was going like 15, five and five, I mean, the, the future is looking pretty good for Jay Sean. The thing is, he's 26 years old, but every team needs a player like Jay Sean Tate. I mean, there's a lot that he does that you just really can't measure. You can't put it in the stat sheet. It doesn't show up in the stat sheet. Things like effort, things like hustle, you know, pass to assist, just finding the right guy. I mean, you know, there's no hockey assists in basketball. So Jay Sean Tate, he's got two years left on his contract. I mean, Rafael Stone got an absolute steal for i mean especially money wise but even if jay sean tate at his worst is a six man 
role player, can guard several different positions. He can realistically guard one through four. He can even guard a five. He can play a small ball center five here and there. I don't. I wouldn't particularly advise for it, but uh, he could definitely do it. So, I mean, this is a guy who can guard four positions. The hope, the, what I was thinking actually a couple weeks ago, I would talk about this in my videos, is throwing Jay Sean Tate on the bench unit and having him kind of be the backup point guard so they can help further just i mean his confidence put the ball in his hands a little bit more because with christian wood and tice it was not working but silas made the right call throwing uh daniel tice on the bench puts him in in you know some of the right opportunities and jay sean still finds ways to go like 10 and 5 even when you have tice and you have christian wood out there hogging up the paint clogging it all up so jay sean i mean i'm i'm really hoping like I said, man, I, I think it's very hard to see because even last year, I mean, this is a guy even with, with Christian or Christian Wood and James Harden, he's helping you win basketball games. And he was a rookie, he made the all rookie team. So with Jay Sean, I want to just see further confidence. And if he can stay above 30% from downtown, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see because I don't want to see him dip below 31% like last season, what he shot last season. I don't want to see any... Um, I just want to see progression. I don't want to see him getting worse. The hope, and I talked about this, I talked about this all offseason because I was really hoping Jay Sean would come out, shock the NBA, shock the Houston Rockets, and have like a 35% three-point shot. Uh, but the hope is Julius Randle, that he kind of can turn into a Julius Randle type of player. Julius Randle shot 40% from downtown last season, and he was putting up very similar. I mean, he was shooting even worse than 30% early on in his career, and just out of thin air, it appeared good free throw shooter, good mid-range, good three-point shot. So it's possible. It is possible. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. Got to work on a new setup. I don't really like this lighting, but if I have these lights on, it's super bright out there, but I think that'll have to do. So that's it for today. Peace.